Oh, now you decide to be interesting. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for WandaVision Episode 5. Hey, it only took five episodes for me to be interested. Yes, I know that there was a lot of stuff that was revealed in the fourth episode, but I still couldn't care. And for those yuppities who are all being high and mighty about how this show is developing, I think there was an article from Forbes saying uh, it's not slow, you're just watching the show wrong. There is a proper way to do a slow burn. True Detective Season 1 and Season 3 are fantastic examples of how to do a slow burn. Those are HBO multi-million dollar shows and those are an hour long but this is also multi-million dollar Marvel Disney show. And the fact that the first two episodes in total had maybe a minute grand put together of actual stuff that pushed the narrative, yeah, we have a right to kind of be like, where's the plot in this? And the fourth episode introduced us to Captain Rambo, the little girl from Captain Marvel and how she got sucked into the world. And now we know for sure that Wanda's actually in control of it. And then the fifth episode showed us a lot of what was going on with Wanda, how she just walked right out of the world and she's like, back off, this is mine. Vision is starting to get a grasp of what's going on with the world and all the while her sons are growing up real fast. She is trying to tell them not to manipulate the world, to not manipulate their own realities. Whereas she is a giant hypocrite of it herself and she's doing it for her own benefit. At least that's kind of the idea so far. And then the ending of the episode doesn't confirm anything. Yes, I know some of you are like, oh, it's, this is the connection, this is it. I will wait and see. I will wait until the sixth episode before this is, hell, I'll wait till this thing is done before they actually confirm that connection. Even though the Fox and Disney merger has long since happened, the fact that the X-Men have not been brought up by Kevin Feige in much more detail than, yeah, they're gonna come eventually, doesn't make me think that this is it. While this is an interesting idea to introduce it to a show, they do know that the Disney Plus numbers have dropped dramatically since Mandalorian 2 finished because people are just gonna wait till season 3 starts and then they're gonna come back up again. Disney Plus did make them a shit ton of money, no doubt about that. I don't see nowhere near as many people talking about this as I thought I would. This episode's been out for several days now, so I would have sworn I would have come across some form of spoiler by this point. Someone talking about it. Not even like a, a tidbit, not, not even like a, hey, guess what happened on WandaVision? And I think it's because people are a little bit skeptical as well of what's gonna happen. So I don't know, I'm not not interested, but at the same time, I'm still pretty much as not invested in this show as I was when I started it. I'm still waiting for WandaVision to be this different form of television that they kept on talking about in the trailers. Yes, it's cool to see it being really reminiscent and accurate of television of the past. Television that I'm pretty sure Wanda never was able to see in Sokovia. No means of knowledge of how any of this television works because she was born in the 80s in a war-torn country. And aside from that, we've never heard or seen her have any sort of familiarity with anything of any form of American sitcom television. That's what happened with Wonder Woman in 1984. That movie was put in the 80s for no other reason than to just be in the 80s. It didn't refer onto the plot at all. So that is what's kind of happening with WandaVision, at least in my opinion. In the end, I'll still give this episode a decent rating because I did like some of the jumps. I did like it how they tried to end the episode with a credit crawl and Vision's like, no, no, we're not doing this. I like that part and I guess, again, I like the twist at the end and the possible reveal. So I'm gonna give this episode a four out of seven. It's, it's not bad, but I'm still waiting for this show to actually matter. I'm waiting for this show to actually pull you in and I'm waiting for these yuppies to stop making articles like this because this is pompous. This is real goddamn pompous. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.